things up by walking for it. Dank says, expect semi-crack. Okay. So yeah, it sounds like Dank built his team in like not very, not a very long amount of time. So let's see. We'll see. Ah, we're gonna see Sun. Dank once again bringing yep. Sun shuckle support. Very interesting. We're like, look at him. I like the shuckle. It's funny. Knight has Knight has Sneasel. I mean, I don't. I mean, Sneasel's Ice Shard could be really valuable this game, especially if. Stuff gets chipped down, but let's see what we're gonna see here. We're gonna see the Steelix lead against the Shuckle lead. Very, he has Violet Plume. Standard, very standard lead. If he brings this Chlorophyll Vile Plume, that would actually be like the tech. Yeah, that's what now I was gonna talk about. Or phase out the uh, phase out the Shuckle here. And the Shuckle just either, it wants wet, it just wants hazards. It wants webs. It wants uh, something. It else. wants to be a. It wants to be a. Yeah. It wants to be a fat boy that can just sit there, lead the game. I mean, Shuckle only happens. has to face like, f like 40 HP or something like that. Doesn't he have like base like 200 defenses though? Yeah, so it has base 210 defenses. Uh, two, no, 230 defense HP, which is why that heavy slam just did 64%. Oof, oofty. Go for Ops of the Rocks, Infestation. Okay. As the Shuckle's gonna die this turn. That Shuckle is probably Mental Herb, just to make sure that it didn't get taunted by something. Turn one. That's just not what you do when you have, like, uh, Hazard Femme Shuckle. And now, I mean, this kind of just invites the Ninetales in. Mm. Yeah, just because I mean, he's probably just gonna get a free sun. Yeah. So, yes, uh, if the Ninetales comes in, I mean, there's nothing on Knight's team that really wants to take on the Ninetales and the Sun. I guess Corsola. Uh, Morpico doesn't outspeed it, which is unfortunate. The Morpico probably has some rapid spin to get rid of the hazards. Right? Yeah. Probably does. And the rapid spin would also boost its speed, so that'd be pretty good for it. Bring it back up to the neutral, and then it can fire off another powerful Aura Wheel. The problem with that is it's kind of just walled by Shifri. Shifri is, uh, Shifri blocks both of its stabs, uh, and Aura Wheel, and the only thing that it gets to hit Shifri is, uh, Ice Fang. So, if Shifri, uh, comes in on the Morpico, there's not really much Morpico can do besides just give it free setup. Actually, no, I stand corrected, it gets Fire Fang as well. So... Oh, it does. Okay. Could have Fire Fang. So, we'll see. I assume he's just okay. So yeah, he helps yeah. send out the nine tails. No boots, so it could be damp. Uh, it could be damp rock, <laughs> heat rock. It could be uh, could be something like the eject pack set that we've seen. Ooh, yeah, it's that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Yes, he's dead. That that that, that really sucks. That was a really unfortunate miss because that was eject pack, and it was gonna go. I'm pretty sure that was gonna go harder to the shift tree. Uh, yeah, there. I think. I think it, yeah. <laughs> yeah Dank says that amazing was start. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Let's see the Hatterene come in. Um, the Hatterene's just gonna go for Mystical Fire. I would not be surprised yeah. if both Felix and the Hatterene had speed on them to deal with each other. We're just gonna Mystical Fire, he's gonna have speed. Doesn't Oko. Okay. And now the uh, Heavy Slam is definitely gonna. No, the Hatterene lives. And it's gonna Ooh, Rocky kill Helmet's it. gonna kill it as well. Uh, so, Nightmare's still in a good spot though. Yeah, I would not be surprised if the more Pico comes out right now. Attempts to wrap a spin or just parting shots straight out on the Gengar switch. Yeah. Because you're dank right now, you need to keep these webs on, so you need Gengar around, so you need Gengar to block the rapid spin. So we'll see. But I think the more Pico is the best play unless you're running Chlorophyll Vile Plume, in which case you take advantage of the two turns left after this turn, the two turns of sun that are gonna be left. Mm. So for it to just set up an attempt to, to bust another hole through this team. Yeah, we're just gonna... Okay, so you set out the Wild Plume. I'm gonna assume this is Chlorophyll. So, yeah, I think it's Chlorophyll as well. It, I think this is gonna be a Chlorophyll, and if it, if it sets up a growth here, I think this is going to look very, very bad for, a, for Dank here. Yeah. I think... Also, Sludge Bomb just wants to kill, I no, guess. Just bomb. For it matter, guys. Um, yeah, it's the, uh, it's very uh, 
This is just a defensive with effect, effects for, I believe. The shifter is just going to go for a heat wave here. Yeah, and going to KO the yeah. Life Orb KO that picks up the KO there. Um, now, Conkleder can come in and mock punch or just straight up live a hit from Shiftry because it's unboosted. I think he, I think he can live a hit, maybe. Or, uh, I, I don't know if, Sne if a Band of Sneasel's Ice Shard kills at this range, it, but it probably does a lot of damage. So, if the Shiftry's here, I mean, the Shiftry didn't get a chance to set up, uh... Shiftry doesn't didn't get a chance to set up here, so it's not going to be dealing de dealing nearly as much damage as it could. Yeah. Knight taking his time here, thinking about his move. He does have options. I mean, the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to go into. I mean, course Corsola. Corsola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Corsola also go into the more. All right, so the more goes into more Pico. So. Oh. Or Pico. I, I think crit mattered. Don't know if that crit mattered. I, I think don't it did. Know. Let me let me see this. Let me go to a calc and let me see this. His life orb. Yeah, that's the standard shifty chip. Well, let me see. I don't know if that crit mattered. It it could have, but I'm I'm not sure. Conk's gonna come out here. Probably uh, gonna be mag punching here. Conk will live a hit regardless, so we'll see if he predicts the Gengar coming in or if it's just going to. Yeah, I mean, Sun's kind of gone, so I don't really see a reason why Dank yeah. would switch out here. Gonna for the Drain Punch, get some nice HP back. He's guts, fair enough. Yeah. So that crit did unfortunately matter on the multi Oh, that's super... Um... Uh, the life, I was calcing a life orb set, uh, and the Leaf Storm barely picked up the KO from that range. So, yeah, that, that was an unfortunate crit. And now the Gengar, I mean, if it has Psychic or Dazzling Gleam, it's got to click it here. Yeah, I think... Yeah, Dazzling um, Gleam is definitely a good play if, if it has it, because of the conk, Sneasel. If the Conk lives, Knock Off or uh, Earthquake will definitely just kill this Gengar payback. Whatever whatever dark move, uh, darker ground move that Knight is running this week. If Conk, if Conk, oh, he opts to switch into the Corsola. So the Corsola trying to figure out what move this Gengar is going to go for. I'm going to see the Gunalfa Sludge Wave. move. Um, that looks like Specs. I think. I think he's going to. That looks I specs. think he, he might switch out again onto a uh, read of a Shadow Ball or something. Oh, no, he's Specs. If, if you think yeah. he's Specs, then. I, this looks like it's. Uh... So. Yeah, that's Specs damage against the Corsola. He's locked into the Sludge Wave here, which means the Corsola can. I mean, I, I think that just means. Can just strength can probably, up. It can either strength Willow. up, it can just go for a Nightshade for fixed damage, or I think the, better, the best play is just go right back out into Conkledar. Go to the Willow. Synchronize, yeah, synchronize. Synchronize is gonna burn it. Cutting down the Corsola is already terrible longevity with the Pokemon's around. Probably, I don't know if he switches or not. Because he, I don't know how I much think, value he sees in the. In the I, I think the best play is to go back into Conkleder because you can't get burnt. You can't. Oh, he's just gonna go Sneasel here, not Boots. It's gonna get take some damage. He's gonna take the foul play. Not gonna do a lot though. And I think he's just gonna try to get either fire off a huge hit with uh, Icicle Crash here, or just get rid of this Umbreon's item to chip it down even more. Yeah. I mean, there really isn't... The the end game is Conkledur at this point. Obstacle knockoff? Knock off, yeah. Knock off is just going to remove the uh, the leftovers. It's Life Orb Sneasel. Just going to go for the Wish. Probably going to uh, protect. Sneasel isn't locked in. Unless I mean, he switches I don't know if I still to... kill at this point. He, he's not Wish Protect, okay. Going off the Foul Play, yeah. which... Reading the... Re killing. Predicting the potential switch back into the... Uh, the Gengar the kill. does not, uh, does not, does not get that read. So now we got this Measle here. It pro again, it can just still just fire off a, a huge, uh, I mean, a decently powerful, uh, Ice Crash here. Even yep. 40%. 
He's not going to die to life orb damage. He's not going to die to life orb damage, but at this point, you would just wish and then uh, just fire off another attack because you're not going to die to Sneasel at this range. Low kick, only going to be 26. We're just going to see. Uh, and that's gonna dead. Pick up the kill. So, Kong can game now, but. I mean, I think that's what you got to go into. You got to go into Conk here and you got to click Drain Punch just to try to get your HP back from this thing. And then you got to hope. But he might that, switch into Gengar. Uh, yeah, you can switch into Gengar predicting that, which is the uh, right play. Hmm. Doesn't opt to. Also, knock off reading the Gengar switch. Yeah. So. Specs, Gengar. He opts for again because. Yeah, I would have done the same thing to be He's honest. Making sure that the Gengar can't come in. Choice specs Gengar Sludge Wave does kill Conkledor from uh, the standard uh, showdown usage Conkledor from full. So. I th uh, with Sludge Wave. And at this point, I'm pretty sure Shadow Ball. I mean, Shadow Ball is definitely going to pick up the kill. Yeah, that's probably going to be the game. Kill, and then it's going to pick up the kill. Yeah, that's the game. So then you're going to come out here and pick up the last two kills with Shadow Ball. Yeah, I think it was a big deal that the crit, the crit definitely mattered, yeah, and I think that cost the game. The crit, that, the crit on the more Pico mattered, and I think that cost the game. He couldn't, he because yeah. like, yeah, he couldn't rapid spin away the hazards or anything, or and he can like yeah. ice fang or anything against the uh, shift tree. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I think is that two crits costing the game in a row? <laughs> oh no. Uh, not in a row, but yeah, two crits costing the game. I don't know if that was the whole game right there because Knight definitely still had chances to win this game, but it definitely did not help his his case. Yeah. Do we have one more game or is that going to be it? That's it. If I did all the math correct, I am now in first place of of my division. Yay. Let me. Very I, epic. I haven't updated the doc in like a week, so I haven't put in matches from uh, from the forfeit from last week that Dank got over at Dark Tar. So, yeah, so I was, I moved from five and one. I'm up to seven and one. Uh, both me and Dank. Um, so, Dank got a 1 0 and a 3 0, so he's going to go to plus 18. No, we are uh, we are tied. We are tied in first place, but I have the tiebreaker, so that technically means I'm first place. Ooh, pretty pretty epic. Tied for pretty the top of the lead at this point. Well, I guess I'm gonna go now. I've got some funny funny yeah. VGC draft league stuff to do now. All right, have fun with that. I'll see you, see you guys in a bit. Yeah. See us far now commentating. <laughs> see ya. See ya. Hit again. And I think that will be all for the stream today too, so... Yeah, a lot of matches played today. Yeah, actually we played a lot of matches. We had a bit of a, like, two 15 minute pause today, I think. But other than that, we did play like... It's not, it's not we, got, we got like, what, six Four? matches? Seven, Four? Uh, five, six matches? Five. On stream? One, One two, two, three, four, five. five. Six matches on stream wow. today. That's actually yeah, really pretty good. good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, nice. Quite glad. Hopefully, we can get such a good turn, uh, another good turnout like this next week. Yeah, that would be great. I mean, all right. Like, so, see you all next week, potentially, yeah. depending on if people can plan matches around the time streams happening. <laughs> okay. Well, see you all next week. Thank you all for turning in.